Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are continuing with Space Flight Simulator. We are on the path of building up our space station. This time we are once again working on the docking area. So we're going to go right to the build and get ourselves started. So the last time we were together, we actually built the arms out with some ports on it. Now we're going to make like little little risers off the ports so that there's a place that, you know, the random ships can actually dock. And for that, we're going to use just the two 20-ton fuel tanks here. And then we're going to put just a couple small docking ports. Like, we want this thing to have all sorts of different opportunities for someone to dock to here. So... Basically, we're going to have, oops, that's the wrong button, there we go, we're going to have something like this right here, sticking out of the ports that we left last time. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to give a little bit of standoff area so that um, anything that's actually connecting into the um, space station you know it's not right up against the space station because we wouldn't want someone to go and like try to dock and then oh forget they've got something sticking out of the side of their ship and then boom now it explodes because you know we we fail at life uh so that's what this is for this is going to be for the big docking ports so that no matter where they're located on a ship there should be a place that they can connect into and we're going to go through and put our fairing on. You know, this is, I suppose, a fairly um, easy little rocket to have created and launched and whatnot. There's nothing super special about it. Here, here it is. What we need is a second stage. And because, because the overall... Let me, let me just remove this for a second. The overall payload's 69 tons, so that's technically over the, you know, weight capacity, the lift capacity for our uh, broadsword engine. We're going to put a second stage with another Hawk on it, just because uh, that way, you know, even if we don't manage to, like clear the atmosphere with the second stage, we'll only have a little bit more to go, basically. We want to make it nice and easy for, you know, the craft that's actually launching this. So, we're going to use this configuration here, like we've done in the past, with the three 20-ton fuel tank stacks, and then we're going to put three Hawk engines here. Oops, that's the wrong part. Here's the other Hawk engine, and then we can go back to our aerodynamic real quick, and we can actually put these little aerodynamic caps on them, and there we go. Here's the rocket. Like I said, this isn't anything that's necessarily um, too special as far as what we've done here. This is just another module that we need for the station. And uh, here we are. We have a nice thumbnail. We're going to go through and turn our three engines on and go to our map. Now, where's the station? The station's here. Okay, that's been deorbited. This one looks like the station. Yes, it is. And it's in a nice, perfect orbit here. So, we're all ready. Let's... Let's launch ourselves. Go back here just to make sure that all our engines end up working. Boom. Yes, they do. It is a fairly heavy launch, uh, but that's okay. It's not too big of a deal because we're going to do a gravity turn. And, you know, gravity turns, they're always uh, nice and perfect here for getting these objects up into space. So we can, we can just launch... And then, like always, remember, we want to be about 45 degrees at about 2,000 meters. So something like something like this right here, that's, that's pretty good. 
keep rolling ourselves over. Now, this is a slightly heavy vehicle, remember, so if we don't roll over all the way to the 60 by 5,000 meters, then that's okay. Also, we don't want to end up going too low, right? We want something like this. This is probably, probably about good right here. And this is, remember, specifically why we have that second stage, because we're probably not going to make it all the way to orbit off of these three Hawk engines here. Um, so we are going to need something to continue to accelerate us in atmosphere. So that's what that Hawk's for. And uh, I don't actually... I can't actually remember if that second stage is going to be enough to actually circularize us. I don't believe it is. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to check. But uh, we are getting close to being out of fuel, so let's zoom in, and oh dear, that is loud. Boop. And here we go. So, with this one, I am going to just keep boosting until we are right at our apple apps of about 250 because you know it, it doesn't really matter if we circularize on this one so we're just gonna keep going out so something like this now we are about to run out of fuel we're still gonna be in atmosphere uh, as far as our periaps goes. So now is the perfect time to pop our fairing, separate our stage, and then we're just going to get ourselves set up here. We have to boost a little tiny bit more here to get to the 250 meters per second. Oh, look at that. Look how close we are to actually hitting a nice approach on this. I wasn't quite expecting that. Not that it's it's a bad thing, it's just, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting it. <laughs> so, we're going to preemptively turn ourselves. Oop. Get out of there. There we go. Preemptively turn ourselves, and then we can raise our throttle back up, because once we get down to the apolapse, we're going to need to raise our periapse, because we are still in the atmosphere. All right, let's accelerate time a little bit. There we go. All of our space junk is making its way back around the planet. That's great. All right, here we are at Apple Apps. We're going to boost right about now. We can watch our closest approach here and we can, hopefully it's gonna go around again and we can like make close contact with the satellite not satellite but the uh the space station i'm actually gonna wait here and i'm gonna go around uh probably twice and that's gonna get us a lot closer to the station so looks like we're gonna go around one more time to make it three total and hopefully yeah we're we're not gonna we're not gonna go around again we're actually just gonna turn ourselves in here and we will boost like this bring our apoaps and periaps a little closer together we'll go around one more time mm. how about how about two more times that'll put us really close if not slightly ahead no it does not put us ahead which is good so there we are what we're going to do is we're going to raise our periaps up to um, basically 240, how about 245, I think. Something like 240, 246 is good. Now, when we get to the other side here, to the top, we're going to take a second and we're going to lower our apple apps, just like that. Okay, so now we're at 246 by a 240, uh, 250, excuse me.
that's basically perfect. We can just go around probably four more times, maybe three more times. And that will get us really close to the space station. Okay, so it was like it was like six times total. All right, what we're gonna do is wait until we are at Apple Apps. We're gonna take this time to add a little tiny bit more uh, speed into the equation, and that should raise our Peri Apps right up to like 249. Yeah. All right, so we're really close. Now we're gonna go around probably, I don't know, four more times, three, two, one. Okay, so right about here, Let's see where we are related to the station. So we can see it now. That's great. Um, I think if we go around a couple more times, we will get closer. Yeah. We are, we are still getting closer. So that's, that's wonderful. Let's take a nice spiral path. Okay, here we are. We're just about to pass it. So, what we want to do is we're going to use our RCS thrusters just to accelerate ourselves something like this. We can rotate ourselves at the same time also, so we're in approximately the right rotation. There we go. We want to go to... Oop, that's a little bit too far to the left. There we go. See how it's almost perfectly coming straight down? We'll just go to the right a tiny bit, and that should correct ourselves. And now we can go to the left again. Something like that. Oh, that's like perfect right there. It's almost going to smash <laughs> smash into us, which wouldn't be perfect, but... Oop. We are so close to matching the horizontal velocity of this thing. Alright, so right here we can just sort of back up a little tiny bit, rotate ourselves into the correct orientation. and get ready to to dock something like this just a little bit further okay and we can stop our vertical movement move ourselves horizontally ever so slightly something like this should be good that'll be a nice gentle final approach here Okay, perfect. And we are done. As you can see, I've added the other four uh, risers or docking tubes. So now we could have some sort of, you know, major docking thing happening in four different locations. We have the very large docking ports to the outside. And then when we return, we're going to be putting one final docking port right here, sticking off out of the middle. Um, but first we want to send this thing back where it's supposed to be, back home. Okay, here we are. Get clear of the station and boost. Oh dear, I forgot to, I forgot to drop out all of my fuel, so I only have about 5% and resupply the station at the same time. Um, that's not that big of a deal, I guess. I feel like we're, yeah, we're fine on fuel for the station. That's, that's no problem. So 250.2, where we're so close. I'm actually just going to take a second to fix that. Uh-oh, we can't do it. All right. We have to be closer to to the uh, other side of the periaps or it's not going to work. So right about 
Right about here. Oh! Oh, that's right. And we actually have to deorbit those modules, too. 3, 2, 1, 250 by 250. All right, and let's switch to this, and we can quickly go around here. Let's actually switch to the first one here. There we are. There we go. Now we're at that one, and that's on a collision course. That one's good. What about this one? That one doesn't seem to be moving anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch. There we are. Something like right here. Now we can switch back to these where they're at their lowest you know, place at the periaps. That's going to be the quickest. What are these? Oh, they're just fairings. Ugh. That's actually going to take a little bit to deorbit these things because they're um, very aerodynamic, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just sit here on them. Hmm. That's not really that good how they've gone in there because they're not actually they're not actually losing any speed here. Interesting. This is going to take a little while. There they go. They lost. This one lost one meter per second. <laughs> so, there we go. Two meters per second. Okay, so we are actually receiving some drag from the atmosphere. It's just going to take a while to deorbit these things. So I'm not going to make everybody watch that. I'm just going to sort of um, deorbit them, let them deorbit themselves, and then uh, next time when we return, we will continue with the other module for the space station. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Spaceflight Simulator. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.